Installing the amp modules to our modular chassis uh, couldn't be easier. We've created a bridging plate between the heat sink and the, uh, the amp module. Um, it's a simple case of adding your module onto this plate. The, um, the sample plate which we have, you can see here uh, has been currently sort of milled out for the Pascal amps, the S Pro 2s, the L Pro 2, um, new class D modules, most of those, and uh, also the Ice Power, um, the 125APX. Um, so today we're going to be using the Pascal, this is the Pascal build. Um, there's a couple of things which are worth noting. Um, Generally speaking, you will probably want a thermal heat paste. Um, you'd actually want it on both sides. So this side for the heat sink, just to transfer as much heat as possible across. Um, plus, now, Pascal do come with their own uh, heat sink. Um, so you'd either want to put your thermal heat paste onto this side or if you're feeling adventurous, you can actually remove this totally and then just run the modular board with the heat paste on the uh, relevant spots directly onto the binding plate. Um, as you can see, it's literally just the number of screws which the module requires. So for this one, it is 10. And then you just attach it once that's attached you then reattach it to your um, master heat sink on the chassis. Be, um, be thoughtful with the direction you wish your modules to go at. Um, so for this one, I have the um, power, no sorry, power is at the top. Now, if I have it this way round, the power is going to be next to the inputs from the XLRs. Um, however, um, the input connection is here. So you may want to think about which way around you want to run your modules. Um, also, you've got your outputs for your speak terminals at the bottom, if I put it in this direction. Just something to be thoughtful of.